Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're going to go through a updated warehouse layout tutorial on how to do some bulk actions and make some changes if you've already got an existing layout. As you can see, I've got the warehouse layout set up here. We've got a few different levels on most of those racks. But let's just say that, you know, we wanted to add in a few new components here. Um, so number one, uh, you'll start off by just selecting the edit uh, to start editing the layout. Number two, something to be aware of is you should, the, the editor itself is based on a layer by layer. So if we go up to a layer two, you'll see that the bin names have now changed to be, you know, bin 2C, bin 2D. And that's just going to, again, cut layer by layer so that you can build onto it. Now we're going to go back to layer one, and in this case, we'll select edit. And now you'll see that the tools appear to start creating your layout. So what I'm going to do is just draw a shelf here. And we're going to draw a couple of bins. So again, I'm just clicking and dragging with the mouse to draw these. And then we can, once you have one bin, you can go ahead and select it. I'm going to hit control C and control V and that will copy and paste. So you can, you know, pretty quickly get a bunch of bins laid out in on your layout there. And as we get our shelf set up how we want it, then we'll be able to copy the bins from one level up to another level on our layout. So we've got four bins here. Now let's just say that we wanted to make this shelf a five level shelf. We'll come over, let's give this a name and we'll up this and we want five levels here. So let's just say that we wanted to take these four bins and copy them to each other level. What you can do is come down to the bulk actions. And from here, you could copy any level of this shelf to any other levels of the shelf. So if I go ahead and I say, oh, I wanna copy the bins from level three, then that will see, you know, we could copy them from level one, two, four, and five. Uh, in this case, we'll copy our level one bins and we're going to put them up onto the other two, three, four, and five. So we'll copy those. And now that's going to, we can come back to the shelf by just clicking on the drag and pan tool. And we'll scroll down. We see a bunch of different bins there. So I'm going to go ahead and generate bin names that will automatically name according to the position, i.e. A, B, C, D, and then the level 1A, 1, and then if we go, uh, we'll update this, and now we'll be able to see that we've got those bins on different levels within this particular shelf. So another thing to, to note is you can also copy over shelves. So now that we have this shelf unit, we can just, again, control C or command C on Mac and command V. Let's copy that. And so now we've copied over this entire shelf unit. So you can make a template of your shelves that you want to use and then just copy them over. Just make sure to rename them so that they have a different naming structure and you don't get confused there. You also can use control Z to undo a particular function. So let's just say that we copy this bin, control copy, control paste, but actually we messed that up and didn't need to. We can just do control Z and undo that action. Also that will happen if we just move something and we say, oh, wrong move, boom, go back. Now let's say that we want to add a new bin into this arrangement here. Oftentimes what we would suggest is just simply resizing the two on the opposite ends and then adding in control copy, control paste, and then we can add in a new bin there and kind of make space where there previously was no space. Now, once we do that, you may already have your bin names for this. And so you would probably want to do something with this bin to just say 1B.1 perhaps. Uh, alternatively, if you haven't yet labeled this shelf, then you can just go in and regenerate the names for it and it will appropriately name them in the position that they're in. 
Another thing to note is that you can also multi-select. So let's say that we wanted to move these and actually put them over into this area. What you can do is just by holding down the shift key, we're going to select a bunch of items. So we've got this shelf selected, we'll select this, this area, we'll select this wall, the door, and we're actually just gonna move all of this over. So we'll, I'm gonna use the keypad. Oops, I didn't select all of them, but that's all right. So we will move that over and then we'll again select here, press shift, select another shelf, and we'll move these right into place. So that makes it easy to move a bunch of things at once so that you can kind of rearrange the warehouse layout how you need it to be. And once you need to find position it, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Another thing to note is that let's just say that we wanted to move this, but uh, you know we kind of needed to use some fine arrow movements. You can use the X and Y to move those up and down. And you also can rearrange or resize them by using the length and width. So that's going to wrap up just a quick tutorial on how to update the warehouse layout. Now, of course, once you get that made, you can go in and check out your progress on the 3D shape and see how that has affected things. Hopefully that helps. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We release videos pretty frequently with new functionality, tips, tricks, etc. As always, make sure to create your account if you haven't already. You can get a free account at skewsavvy.com forward slash register. Thank you much.